Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for being here. This is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. And uh, we're trying out a pretty new and, and pretty interesting item uh, to just get right to the point. And I know I kind of say that in every single video, but I am this time. I am, I am getting straight to the point. Uh, this is a new item from Panera Bread. And it may actually be a first for this channel, because I don't really... I mean, I might have reviewed Panera Bread before, but I know that this isn't an establishment that I necessarily do reviews of, you know, extremely frequently. Like, I know some places, like Taco Bell, um, Wendy's, you know, the, the pizza places, etc., they make lots of releases. They, you know, I'm always doing one review after the next of them. Panera Bread is one of those establishments that I frequent. I, I enjoy just going there because I think they have a good quality product. Um, but for some inexplicable reason, I just haven't really done many a review of the, the bread of Panera, as they say. Um, but this caught my eye, and I got a couple of requests for it as well, because I'm always interested in checking the comments and seeing what people really want to see reviewed. And a lot of people were saying, can you try out the pepperoni pizza from Panera Bread? And at first, when I first saw that, I was in uh, a state of bewilderment, so to speak. I thought, you know, is this some sort of uh, delirium setting in, you know, pizza, pizza from uh, Panera Bread. Uh, but sure enough, I did some research and it was not delirium. It was not any sort of, uh, you know, hallucination. No, they actually do have a new item. They released pepperoni flatbread pizza. So uh, yes, pepperoni pizza from Panera Bread. Yes, indeed, you could get it. Uh, this is what it has on it. It's supposed to be like a little more of a gourmet pizza, so to speak, because, you know, you have all different types of pizza, but they say this is supposed to just be a little bit of a nicer type of pizza. Uh, it comes with a blend of mozzarella and fontina cheese. Comes with tomato bell pepper sauce. Then they say traditional pepperoni. So we're kind of going traditional, you know, none of this, uh, none of this fake ripoff pepperoni, but the real deal. And uh, that's it. But it's supposed to just have better quality ingredients. They say, uh, you know, at a, at a fair value. Uh, this is this is anywhere from eight to eleven dollars. The one that I got was actually on the pricier side. This pizza was $11 for me. Um, but others, you know, other people say, no, I've only got it for uh, $7.99. I guess it just depends on where you go. And, uh, you know, the price may vary. But anywhere from $8 to $11 I've seen. Now, here's the box. You can see that it's not a huge box. So when you think of pizza, you know, I know we think of the huge, you know, circular pie. Um, but this is more of, again, like a square flatbread pizza. And uh, you can see, you know, for verification purposes, it is from Panera of bread. Let's open this up. Let's see what we have. So here it is. All right, there I am with it. And let's just focus on the pizza real quick. I'll get a close up shot for you too. Um, but there I am with it. A little bit of a bluish hue to it for some strange reason, but there's a close up view of the pizza anyway. And uh, I'll move it even a little closer. But you can see that it's a nice flatbread pizza. Again, not too big. Like, if you wanted to compare it to my head, I guess it still is bigger than my head. But you can see the pepperoni is under the cheese. See the sauce, the cheese, and it looks pretty good, though. I have to say. Let's grab a slice. Looks like it already is cut, so that's good. All right, and this is a close-up view of it now. So you can see, looks pretty good. There's the pepperoni, there's the cheese, the sauce. So far so good in terms of appearance at least. It certainly does look like a nice, and again I would even go as far as to say like a gourmet type pizza, um, you know a little higher quality so to speak. Uh, you can definitely see the mozzarella cheese there. It looks pretty good. So uh, we'll just try it out. We know what's on it. We'll just go for it. And uh, we'll see how good this is. I will say, just from experience, obviously Panera Bread is not a pizza place, uh, unless maybe they always have been, and I've just been getting the wrong thing from them. But uh, some establishments, you know, that, that they branch out into pizza, it's better than you think. I remember years ago, Subway, they uh, released a couple pizzas here and there, and they were better than I thought they would be. And Subway, you know, is not always known for the highest quality. So hopefully this will be good. We'll try it out. The uh, pepperoni flatbread pizza from Panera Bread going in. Mm. 
you didn't see that, but the pizza almost went flying off the table, but it didn't. But let's just keep trying this out here. And again, it's got a blend of mozzarella and fontina cheese, the uh, tomato bell pepper sauce, and traditional pepperoni. I have to say, I'm impressed by it. I think that they did a good job on this. One thing that I can definitely taste when it comes down to, to this item is the quality of everything. Obviously, when you have a place that doesn't really specialize in pizza that tries to, you know, give it a shot, I think the results can be mixed. And I think, you know, you've had times where some places do it and it's great, other times it's not. Um, but the first thing that really, that really strikes me here is the overall quality of the ingredients and the freshness. You can really taste the freshness, especially in the mozzarella cheese. And you can just, you could just tell that they're using just more quality ingredients. The pepperoni, one thing that I like about it that maybe you could see, I'm not sure how well the camera really picked it up, is that it's thicker cut pepperoni. So when you're biting in and, you know, you eat that slice of pepperoni and there seems to be a decent amount of it. Again, it's kind of under the cheese a little bit, so you can't see it all, but there still seems to be a good amount of, of pepperoni on the pizza. But when you bite in, you really do get a nice mouthful of it. You can really taste it. it. has a little bit of spice to it. Of course, some saltiness, but it's just rich in flavor. Uh, the sauce is an interesting thing. And I think the only, like, if you have to really nitpick, um, I think some people, because I know a lot of folks are particular about their sauce on the pizza, what they like, what they don't like. I think if, if people like a thicker sauce, you know, like a very thick, hearty tomato sauce, they might be a little disappointed in the sauce here because it's much, uh, much thinner. It's not watery, you know, but it's definitely much thinner of a sauce. So I think if any individuals just are concerned about that, you know, simply in the means of consistency there, that's just something worth pointing out. It doesn't bother me. It's not like a tomato paste, um, but again, it's just not necessarily a very thick sauce. Still, though, what's interesting, as I say, it's a tomato bell pepper sauce. Uh, very interestingly enough, you know, it is a robust sauce, though. It is very flavorful, but there is that little bit of a hint of, like, a bell pepper in there, which caught me off guard. I just, I, was, I wasn't sure how pronounced that would actually be, um, but it's good. Honestly, I wasn't really sure what to make of this pizza. I wasn't sure if it was going to be all that. I'd seen the pictures, of course, but it's like, you know how it is when you see something advertised, the expectations versus reality. But uh, in getting this pizza and just trying it out here, I would say that it's definitely worth a shot. It's not going to be like your, you know, like a Little Caesars pizza or something. It's Panera Bread spin on a pizza. I think it's a little higher quality, you know, just a little tier above what you would usually get at like the takeout pizza places. Uh, definitely higher quality ingredients, very flavorful, very fresh, and uh, I enjoy it. And still a decent, a decent portion size for it. I'd say if you're feeling peckish, this would certainly constitute... Uh, a meal for one person, but even I think two people could could enjoy this as well and each have a couple slices. So, uh, no, and, and one other note, of course, a flatbread pizza, it does have a little bit of a crisp in the crust, a little bit of a bake on the bottom, um, but it's not like so hard that it'll break your teeth and it's not dry either. It's not like a cracker. So I like that, again, it still has a little bit of a, you know, a crisp to it, some firmness, but the, the base of the pizza is not dry either. And uh, I like that. So I think they did a good job on it. Panera Bread, again, they're usually known for having some quality, uh, you know, some quality items, fresher ingredients at a pretty decent price. And uh, I would say they definitely did a good job with this flatbread pizza. So yeah, out of 10, uh, I would definitely have to give it at least in the 8 range. Um, I'd probably have to give it an 8.6 out of 10, all things considered. Definitely above average. Uh, you know, price-wise, again, is a little iffy. 
Um, I guess you are paying a premium though for better quality ingredients, but overall a good pizza, good quality. It tastes good, I don't have any problems with it. So yeah, Panera Bread, pepperoni pizza from them. I give them a thumbs up, I think they did a good job. And uh, if it's something that you're interested in, absolutely. Next time you go to Panera Bread, yeah, maybe get a pizza from there, see what you think. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I have for you today. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today we tried out, assessed, and analyzed the uh, pepperoni pizza from Panera Bread. With that, everyone, please be safe wherever you are, be healthy. I wish you all the very best. Until next time, do take care.